quick question. What do you remember without your phone? Your phone number, your address, or just your Wi-Fi password? We used to be libraries, but now we just carry library cards. My grandmother remembers everything from recipes, phone numbers, and lullabies all in her head. My mom, birthdays, directions, but me, passwords, no. Lyrics, maybe. I just know where to find things. This is digital amnesia. We don't remember things anymore. We store where to find them. Our memory has become a URL. But memory isn't just trivia. It's how we think, solve problems, and connect ideas. The hippocampus links sights, sounds, and feelings into a transient neural code. Synapses send them through NMDA receptors and calcium, opening the gate for change. If when repeated, plasticity proteins like CREP-driven genes and ART remodel spines and form an engram. Over nights of replay during slow sleep, those hippocampal indices shepherd the memory into distributed cortical networks so that you can call it up years later. Offload everything to tech and those biological steps get skipped. No deep attention, no retrieval and no replay. Dopamine and acetylcholine signals that stabilize memory don't fire. And the result? Less LTPs, fewer PRPs caught by synaptic tags, and shallow mental maps wired to search instead of know. Some companies promise tech fixes like Neuralink, Kernel, and Meta. Implants an AI that boosts memory. Amazing, but it's not a shortcut. At best, tech augments practice, and it shouldn't replace it. So tonight, try this. Call your mom or grandma for one recipe. Don't Google it. Memorize one line of a poem. Small reps lead to big gains. Earth has survived five mass extinctions. Let's not make our memory the next one.